G'day folks. Oh, I got a little repair job for my friend Terry. Uh, the guy I got the Ford Falcon off, or Fairmont, whatever it is. Um, this is his old Luxman amplifier that's been sitting under a workbench at work for yonks. Uh, he blew one of the main filter caps on it and couldn't find a replacement at the time, so it's been living under a bench for the last four years or so. So I just offered to have a look at it and fix him for it, fix it for him. So uh, he's already taken one cap out. I don't know where that went, but they're identical to each other. They're a pair of 15,000 microfarad, 65, 63 volt uh, audio grade capacitors. So I'm just looking on eBay at the moment and a few other places, and I found one a pair of uh, also Nichicon. They're a Nichicon Gold Series audio cap for about $65, I think it's $70 shipped. So it's probably not too bad, but I just want to get a professional opinion from any of you other audio gurus. What's the go and what's not with this sort of thing. Uh, the Luxman amplifier is pretty damn good. You can see where the old cap sort of vented itself on the bottom panel. <laughs> Yuck. Yeah, it said cap vented and then it just started humming, which is obviously AC coming through. But yeah, everything else looks pretty good. Power, transistors. Pretty reasonable soldering on everything by the looks of it. Well made, it's all Japanese made. But yeah, you can see it's taken one cap out. They have a lot of pins on them, but most of them are blanks. It's just these two here that are in use. Same with that one there. So whatever I replace it with should work. And you can see the vent on the bottom of that one looks like it's about to pop out too, if it hasn't already. So do both both mains caps and should be right. There's a bridge rectifier there. Mains input 240 volts. It's voltage selection pins. So it can do 220 or 110 volts. You just move the bridges. Um, yeah, that's an interesting little modification. They've severed that trace. Looks intentional. Looks like they've used a multi-tool or something to cut it. Strange, probably a factory modification. Maybe they revised the PCB after the fact. <laughs> Hopefully that's just a mod, not actual damage from sitting on something. Yeah, it's actually been cut in there with a high-speed tool. Oh, I'll leave it as it is till I get some new caps in it and then see how it goes. But yeah, it's a Luxman L430. I'll just have a quick look at those caps that I found. Uh, that's the one, KG Gold Tune, 15,000 mic. Um, yeah, 59.99 US. Made for Marantz, but they're the same basic cap. So I'm going to gamble that that's what I really need, but just for now, uh, I'm not in any particular hurry for it. It's been sitting for four years, and he said it doesn't matter if it takes me a while to find some good caps for it. Uh, if any of you audio gurus have better ideas or better caps, maybe for less cost, fine, let me know, please. Anywho, thanks for watching. I've got a little uh, 3 kilowatt super silent sine wave generator to autopsy. Uh, apparently it blew up, so <laughs> that'll be fun. Thanks for watching.